All right, so on your rubric, the documents you have, you have these things. You have, it tells you that you have to have two producers, an herbivore, a carnivore, omnivore, and scavenger, and all those are consumers. <laughs> then you have to have a decomposer. But it also tells you that you have to have 10, and this is only one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. So the last three, you get to choose. You get to choose um, what trophic level these are on, um, whether they're uh, any of these. So you can, you, you can have three more producers, you can have three more con uh, carnivores, you can have three more decomposers, or a mixture of any of those down there. So you have to have 10 organisms total. And this is what I would recommend. I'd recommend you guys getting something that you're familiar with and that you like. So uh, one of my classes, somebody really loved dolphins, so they started with dolphins. Uh, I'm going to go with deer because that's what, uh, honestly, that's the example I've been using all day, and that's something I'm familiar with. Also, you, I'm asking that you don't do an ecosystem that's in South Georgia. Unless you do something like the rainforest or the ocean or um, maybe an ecosystem that would be found on a mount, in a mountainous area, stuff like that. So I'm going to use this example so you don't have to worry about not using what I'm saying. So we've got deer. Um, and I'd like for you to be specific for what you're doing. So the deer here, so this one we're going to say white-tailed deer. And I'm just starting there. There's nothing special about that one. That's just what I'm going to start with. Now, we know organisms have to get energy from something, right? Right? So we'll say this white-tailed deer. Let's say in my research I got on Google and I said, what does a white-tailed deer eat? And I found that it eats acorns. And acorns come from oak trees. So I draw an arrow from the oak tree to the deer. The energy going from the oak tree to the deer. And that oak tree has to get energy somehow. And it gets it from the sun. That's a producer. So we have a producer and we have an herbivore. So I'm going to check those off. Producer and herbivore. Uh, let's go ahead and knock out that other herbivore. Let's say this um, deer also eats um, alfalfa. Alfalfa. alfalfa grass, not alfalfa off the little rules. Alfalfa grass. <clears throat> um, so we got an arrow going from the grass to the deer. That is a food, a very, very simple food web. But we've got it's not a single line. There's two organisms or two organisms that the deer eats. Now let's go back to the deer. What is something that can eat a deer? And I start thinking. Let's say I type it in, and don't you don't have to think up these things. You can use you can use Google. What eats a white uh, a deer, white-tailed deer? So I'm going to say a coyote. No, let's say a, a, a bear. Let's say a bear. B e a r. Let's say a bear stumbled upon um, some some deer. I, I don't know if that actually happens or how often it happens. I'm sure it's happened before, but I'm sure it doesn't happen very often. But let's just say that's what I found on my research. Um, and bear, that's, that's what actually happens. Bear eat maybe the fawns of the deer or something like that. Well, this makes it seem like this bear is a carnivore. But in my research, I keep finding that bears are omnivores. So then I need to ask, what do bear eat? And so we'll say, bear can eat blackberries. Well, they eat fish. Blackberries. And blackberries also get their energy from the sun. So now I've got three producers, say blackberry, which is a producer. I've got um, this producer, two producers, three, herbivore. Now I've got an omnivore, these deer and blackberries. All right, now let's jump down here. These ones are normally kind of easy. Let's say a scavenger. Um, a scavenger that can eat deer and bear would be a vulture. A vulture. It can eat deer and bear. Um, it's not going to really eat any of these these things. So this is already a food web. This is this is a food web, but it's not all. I don't have all that I need. I don't have a carnivore. I don't have the decomposer, and I don't have these two empty um, things that I come with. So I'm going to look at this. You can do you can do anything you want to. Um, well, I'm going to come back here to the producers and say what else eats alfalfa grass. So I'm going to maybe I find out a a mouse, a field mouse. Eats alfalfa grass, but then again, I find out that that, that something else that that um, that the field mouse eats is a 
uh, grasshopper. Let's say it eats a grasshopper. And again, I don't know if this is true. Let's just, I'm pretending that I just researched this and, and found it. To say I found that grasshopper it is eaten by the field mouse. But now I have to figure out where the grasshopper gets energy from. And surprise, surprise, a grasshopper eats grass. That's what I find in my research from several legitimate websites. So now I've got, uh, I need to add field mouse, which is, oh, that's an omnivore. So I need a carnivore now. Okay, let's add a snake. Let's say a snake eats this field mouse. And some snakes, let's say a moccasin or a rattlesnake, you would specify what type of snake. So now I've got my carnivore, I've got my, and I added the composer, I've got field mouse and grasshopper. I've got my mouse, I've got the mouse. So I've got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Now I just need a decomposer. I'm going to go back here to the tree because I like the fungi. Say so this tree is decomposed by some type of fungus, and I would need to find out exactly what kind of fungus that is, what kind of fungus it could be. Um, there's a lot of native fungus fungi that would eat, that would decompose trees, and so you could just find one of those, get the species name, and write it down. Um, that's really it. So you need to make sure that you have 10 of them, and I would do this on paper, and then complete that chart that is in your Google Classroom. Because if you do that, um, I think just doing it visually like this over here will be a lot easier compared to um, trying to figure out over here. One thing to keep out an eye out for is make sure that if you say that this bear is an omnivore, that it is eating, in this food web, it is eating something that is meat and it is eating something that is um, a plant, a producer, some type of producer. We have it here. It's eating blackberries and deer. Um, if it is a scavenger, make sure that it's eating something that's dead. So make sure that when you label it, whatever it is, it actually does what the definition of that word does. So.